Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. It is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a great, I have a big grocery haul for you today, so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. As always, I highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our free, supportive, amazing Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let me turn you around and let's jump in to this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. Boy, did I get some amazing, amazing deals. Wow, really good deals. So let me show you what I picked up for the week. So first thing we needed was toilet bowl cleaner. Honestly, I probably should have bought it when I made my Costco run, but I didn't. These were $1.99. They're the bleach toilet bowl cleaners. We're not particular. Speaking of toilet bowl cleaners, Troy asked for new bowl brushes for our two bathrooms. Well, they had the Libman. If you bought three, they were $3.49 a piece. That's a really, really good deal. And I don't know if I mentioned, but I shopped at Fry's, which is a Kroger store. So that was a killer deal. So I just bought a third one. That way we have a backup. And then because I'm 48 and I have a lot of gray hair <laughs> between my coloring, I always use the L'Oreal Magic Root Touch-Up Spray. Like I said, I got some amazing deals, mainly on meat. I mean, amazing, amazing deals. So these are 80-20 ground beef burger patties. These are for Troy when we do our grilling on the Blackstone. Already pre-made, ready to go, $5.00. 19 cents and then I bought all that they had of the 96 four ground beef for 557 a pound they had three of them reduced that again such a great deal I needed ground chicken can you hear the dogs what are you guys doing yeah get him Lola get him yeah, get it. This is my life. Okay, I got two pounds of ground chicken. This is 97.3. These are still $3.99 a pound, normally $5.99. I needed one pound for the week, and then I'm going to throw the extra pound in the freezer. And I'm not going to take these out of the bag because they're a little juicy on the bottom. I gave them a special bone so that to keep them busy. Okay, so I did get some chicken breast, and like I said, this is a little juicy on the bottom. $7.66, such a great deal. And then I actually needed stew meat for a recipe this next week. This was marked down from $22.30 to $14.26 for all of this sirloin steak. It's petite sirloin. Anytime you buy a loin cut of steak, it's less fatty, less calories, less points. So I'm just going to chop it up myself for the stew. And then I grabbed two gallons, as always, of 1% milk for Troy. Restocked my Fair Life. I've been using the lavender powder and coffee a lot and I've been using Fair Life for protein so I was completely out. I needed whole milk for a recipe and then I also grabbed some half and half only because sometimes I like to make an iced Americano and just a splash of half and half and I didn't have any on hand so I picked that up. One more container of my good culture cottage cheese. I have about a half a container left but I eat cottage cheese almost daily so I picked up another one of those and then unfortunately their reduced bakery section was void of everything. There was one roll, one package of dinner rolls. So I passed on that and I just went over to the bakery and Troy loves these little cherry mini Danish things. So I picked those up. They're only $2.29 full price. So super affordable. And then I got this little cookie pack that has M&M cookies and peanut butter cookies for $3.99. So I grabbed those for the week. Then I saw this caramelized onion with roasted garlic dip. This was reduced to $2.47. 60 calories per serving. I thought veggies would be really good dipped in that or crackers. So I picked that up. I've never tried this particular caramelized onion before. I did grab some rice like I mentioned. If Lola doesn't eat her kibble, I do chicken and rice for her and I was completely out of rice so I picked up some jasmine. I also needed Parmesan cheese. I was out and it's part of a recipe. Same with my tomato paste. I prefer it in the tube. It's the most convenient for me, so I restocked that. I did get some Bob Evans mashed potatoes just for a really easy dinner side. I really, really like these. And since I have my real good chicken nuggets, I make KFC bowls a lot and I thought, 
Pre-made mashed potatoes, super, super easy. This is not a fun purchase, but I did grab a couple of pads. I did grab a box of pads and then a container of beef broth and a container of chicken broth for dinner recipe. I also needed a can of crushed tomatoes. They only have the no salt added in the organic, so I just grabbed that. And then I've never bought hot honey before, but it's part of my lunch meal prep. You know I don't really like spicy, but I Googled it and it says that it's not overly spicy. It just has a little tiny bit of spice. If you are a hot honey lover, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. And this is super spicy because I may be regretting that decision. And then I got some frozen tor cheese tortellini. Ooh, that's a mouthful for a dinner recipe. And then Troy asked for Yasso bars. I will forever buy them at Costco because this was $5.79 on sale. And I think I paid $10 for the equivalent of four boxes at Costco. So definitely grab your Yasso bars there. They do only typically have the chocolate mint flavor, but he seemed to really like that so this time I grabbed him the chocolate chip cookie dough and then for produce I picked up parsley I am making deviled eggs for Easter and I always top my deviled eggs with a sprig of parsley I needed parsnips for a recipe as well as two squash and one yellow squash some bulk celery I like to buy the bulk it's already cleaned ready to go I need it for a recipe as well as for celery and peanut butter, one of my favorite snacks. And then I grabbed spinach by the bundle because it was only $1.79 and I only needed it for one recipe. And I didn't want to spend four or five dollars on a little baby spinach tub. I was today years old when I figured out that I could buy it just like this for a recipe. So I did that. So I picked up one of those. And then I also grabbed an eight pack of Gatorade Zero. And right now Kroger stores have their 12 packs of Coke products. Buy two, get three free. So for $20, you get three 12 packs of Diet Coke for Troy. So let's jump in to what's on my menu for dinners and this week's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. I know I'm post St. Patrick's Day, but I've been craving beef stew, so I'm going to make an Irish beef stew. Crock pot spinach and tortellini soup. I'm also really excited for that. And then we are going to have a pizza night. And then for my meal prep on Monday, for breakfast, I'm doing a breakfast roll. This is going to be something I've never done before, but it's going to be high protein, so I'm excited for that. And then for lunch, I'm making hot honey chicken bowls. So that's why I picked up the hot honey. Don't forget to let me know if you've tried it and how hot it is, like rate it on a scale of one to 10, one not hot, 10 super, super hot. Let me know what I'm in store for. And then I'm going to be making protein cake, which again, I've never tried this, but I'm super excited. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up. Love it when we can score a good deal because I feel like the price of groceries keeps getting higher and higher. I'm noticing for sure things are a dollar, two dollars more than they were even a few months ago. So hopefully that comes to a, a screeching halt. But for now, if we can score a good deal, we're all about it. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thumbs up the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.